Most artists don't make their own paint, but one Taiwanese artist goes the extra mile. Not only does he make his own paints of different types, but his color them with the soil of Taiwan. The result is artworks that truly reflect the homeland of the art artist creator. As Hong Haolun showed us, the soil of different regions of Taiwan reveals a stunning array of different hues. Hong's pigments are all made with the earth of Taiwan itself. That's how he makes sure his work reflects the true colors of the land. Most of the paints we see on the market are very bright, coming from chemical dyes or perhaps vegetable dyes. The problem with them is they fade easily. Today we're using this fine powdered pigment made from ground earth. What's great is, by comparison, it keeps incredibly well because it comes from natural and organic minerals, which can resist many changes in the environment. Hong's love of the earth's colors has taken him up and down the length of Taiwan. Each local area has its own very unique soil signature. This is agriculture soil from Yangmingshan. It's rather brown. This is field soil from Yilan. It spent a long time steeping in groundwater, and it's gone this greeny gray. In the center of Taiwan is Sun Moon Lake, and the color there is very special. It's a kind of pink. Only in Taidong do we get this soil that's called black earth, and in Hualien, around the harbor, we get this familiar marbly color. These are Taiwan's native colors. Once the earth has been collected, it's time to grind it into a pigment that can be used for painting. Basically, you put the earth through various steps to turn it into pigment. First, you wash it with water, let it settle, dry it in the dark, grind it, filter it, and finally, it's once more filtered with water. Then you get the finest powder, which is dried, and we add different binders, like linseed oil, which turns it into oil paint. You can add gum arabic to make it watercolor paint. Or if you add gelatin, you can make the medium for Asian brush painting. For example, Japanese brush art or Nihonga, or what we know as Eastern gouache. Most of us have probably never taken a good look at the earth that lies underneath our feet every day. But Hong's work shows us the land itself is a source of beauty and imaginative inspiration.